Item number SCP-1135 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-1135 is located within the boundaries of Site-36. A chain-link fence 3 meters high has been constructed around an object and marks the boundary of the affected area. A narrow ditch 4 meters deep has been dug parallel to and within the fence. This ditch is lined with impermeable plastic and filled with dilute hydrochloric acid in order to deter expansion of SCP-1135 past the security perimeter. The area within the security perimeter is to be checked every three days by teams of researchers. These researchers are not required to be armed or otherwise prepared for a hostile environment, but must carry two-way radio communicators at all times while within the security perimeter and should maintain visual contact with one or more fellow researchers at all times. Any new growth or development indicative of SCP-1135 activity is to be noted. Should hostility on the part of SCP-1135 be encountered during an expedition, all staff within the security perimeter are to withdraw immediately. No expeditions within SCP-1135 are to be mounted within 40 days of such a hostile reaction, unless composed entirely of D-Class personnel. Any and all non-anomalous waste produced by Site-36 is to be deposited at least 20 meters within the security parameter by D-Class personnel at the beginning of each day. If this waste totals less than 500 kilograms on any given day, this amount is to be supplemented by on-site stockpiles. No attempts to damage SCP-1135 structures is to be made except in the case of containment breach or with the permission of Site Administrator of Site-36, currently Dr. Beep. If such damage occurs, SCP-1135 is to be treated as hostile for the next 40 days. No explosive materials or other items capable of major structural damage to SCP-1135 are permitted within the security perimeter without approval from Site Administrator of Site-36. Description SCP-1135 is an isolated village in the state of Beep, India. The village was attributed the name of Beep prior to its acquisition by the Foundation. It contains approximately Beep houses as well as several places of commerce and a Hindu temple. The structure of the buildings is unusual for the region, as they are larger and built far more technology advanced materials than other villages in the area. All buildings are fully equipped with running hot and cold water, electricity, and sewage. Again, unusual for the area. It is unknown how the homes receive electricity, as they are not connected to any form of generator and this is considered to be an effect of SCP-1135. In addition, the roads in the village, and for two kilometers around the village, are also fully paved with asphalt concrete. Investigation of the building materials reveals strands of organic fiber running through all the buildings, and any permanent fixtures on the village not introduced by an outside force. The vibe is do not ever appear to compromise the integrity of any structures. These organic fibers extend up to three meters below ground and form a network under the village. These fibers grow, repair themselves, and appear to absorb nutrients from the soil. As such, SCP-1135 is considered a single living organism with certain similarities to fungi. The fibers of SCP-1135 appear to be able to generate a wide variety of organic and non-organic materials around themselves, allowing them to generate the structures found within the village. This allows the structures to repair themselves, and periodically new buildings grow organically from the soil, maintaining structural integrity at all times during this process. Similarly, 
when space is limited, some structures will appear to collapse and disintegrate the fibers within actual being. SCP-1135 appears to require some form of sustenance to survive, as well as absorbing water and nutrients from the soil. The organism appears to consume waste left within the boundaries of the village. Waste of all kinds left in the area affected by SCP-1135 begins to deteriorate and decompose at an extremely accelerated rate. This produces no order and typically leaves no remains. This process does not affect living organic tissue, soil, or any object being used in some way by those within SCP-1135. It is believed that SCP-1135 converts these materials into nutrients for itself through an unknown process. If so, it is unknown how SCP-1135 differentiates between waste and other matter. If SCP-1135 goes for long periods without feeding, it will destroy structures, possibly in order to enter them down for sustenance. Likewise, if SCP-1135 has been able to consume a large amount of waste, it will start to construct new buildings and improve existing ones at an increased rate. If humans or animals cause substantial or attributive damage to structures formed by SCP-1135, the organism will begin to construct elaborate traps in order to injure, drive off, or kill attackers. These range from simple pitfalls and call trips to elaborate traps which would indicate complex intelligence and a human. These traps will, if not triggered, disappear within a period of 20 to 30 days. Outside of these circumstances, SCP-1135 is never hostile or dangerous to human life. Additionally, SCP-1135 appears to be able to differentiate between damage caused indirectly or directly by living organisms and damage caused by other forces. These findings suggest that SCP-1135 may possess some form of intelligence, but this is unproven. Addendum 1135-1 SCP-1135 was discovered on BEEP after a reporter investigating aid efforts in the area recorded interviews with local residents claiming the buildings grew overnight. SCP-1135 had an estimated population of BEEP at the time of its discovery by Foundation operatives. Residents interviewed reported that the village had possessed anomalous properties for beep years prior to Foundation intervention. After the village had been the site of a sustainable housing development scheme orchestrated by an organization by the name of the Manor Charitable Foundation. The Manor Charitable Foundation is apparently fictitious and no attempts to identify those involved in the scheme have been successful. All residents of SCP-1135 were expelled, administered Class A or Class B amnestics, depending on how long they had lived in the village. All aid schemes in the area since have been monitored by the Foundation, although no other anomalies or any further information regarding the Manor Charitable Foundation have since come to light. Addendum 1135-2 Following the routine observational expedition carried out on BEEP, Several buildings appear to have developed security cameras on their outer walls and in certain indoor areas of the village buildings. These cameras have been observed to track waste disposal and research teams as they move through the village and to conduct periodic sweeps of the village when undisturbed. Requests to dismantle one of the cameras for research purposes are currently pending approval by Dr. Beep. <laughs>